Welcome, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of EFA Cabinet. Over here on the left hand side, um, EFA Cabinet has your organizational structure. So this is EFA Cabinet uh, online and this can be found in any web application for any device. So over here on the left hand side, this is made to follow a tree structure. You've got your cabinets, your drawers, folders, and subfolders. You can go down as many different levels as you need to. So much like a Windows folder structure or a physical filing cabinet, anything that you've got highlighted over here on the left-hand side, you will see that hierarchy of any documents here on, in the middle section. If you click on an actual document, documents will be pre previewable over on the right hand side. So all of the different document types can be stored inside of EFA cabinet and almost all of them can be viewed. All of the Microsoft uh, products can be viewed, the Word, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, uh, PDFs, images, videos can be previewed inside of EFA cabinet. Um, there are of course with thousands of software opportunities and file formats to store. Some of the various unique formats may not be previewable. There are many different ways to bring a document into eFile Cabinet. You can upload a folder or a, a document just by clicking on this. You can also upload through our new icon at the top. Documents can be drug drag and dropped into eFile Cabinet, both the entire an entire folder hierarchy and individual documents. Additionally, we do have a Microsoft integration, which will allow for a document to be sent over to eFile Cabinet in its native format. That will be the case with Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. So a document will come over as a Word document. It'll stay as an Outlook message. It'll remain as an Excel spreadsheet. So that'll keep those documents in their native formats. You may also, from any software or any program that allows you to print to, you can print directly to eFile Cabinet. If you print the document to eFile Cabinet, it's going to push that over as a PDF. So it will always convert that document to a PDF and will um, bring that over into a more static format. Additional ways you can bring documents into eFile Cabinet include our mobile app, which allows you to take a photograph of a page or multiple pages and bring them in as a PDF. You can also share documents through our secure client sharing portal and um, upload them directly in as well as scanning documents into eFile cabinets. Other ways to manage your documents. So once your document is in here you often will want to search for the document. We've got a quick text search which is allowed up here. Uh, this text search will have, has a default setting as well as the ability to search for different types, names, and other items. Additionally, we have a full text search that is available. If I click on my full, full text search, I can have um, various types of things that I can search for. So I can do a full text and look for a particular document that might be found inside of eFile Cabinet that contains it in the text. For example, if I do a full text search for Lincoln, I will pull up documents that do not have the name Lincoln in the actual title. This search up here will search for titles, but which contain the word Lincoln inside the actual document itself. So this document has pulled up because of my full text search for Lincoln. I can also do search by date created, person creating it, and other things. Another aspect that is nice is our ability to have files indexed. In theory, you can actually index all of your files, throw them under an entire drawer and not bother with folders or subfolders, and purely pull documents by indexing. Medical offices tend to do this where they will index by social security last four of social and birth dates or last name and birth date. So if I pick a profile for example if I were to pick a vendor and I were to come in I could come and search by a customer ID one two three four five 
tends to be one that I use a little more often. If I add that, so any document that contains this, I can do a search for that document. Over here we see all of the items that have pulled up through this profile. If I click on a couple of these items, you'll notice that we have this one, two, three, four, five, six that is showing up in that client ID. So we're able to come in and find that one, two, three, four, five. Any of these documents that have been saved with that customer number num shows up in here. So those are a couple of different ways. There's a lot more ways to search through eFile cabinets. Um, once you've got your documents, you may want to manage them. So very quickly, I just want to highlight a couple of ways that you can manage your documents. This is not all inclusive, but just to give you a high level overview. One, this is where um, these profile fields are where you would put in those searchable fields that you can search or run reports on. Uh, the next item is permissions and you can have various levels of permissions for various users and can restrict a user or push down user permissions. Users can be given permissions by groups or by individuals. You can also have retention wherein you're able to protect documents from being edited or deleted. You're also able to designate specific actions to occur either in a certain amount of time or in a on a certain date. If you choose to have a document purged, our system will not purge it for you automatically. It will um, give you a notification that it's time to be purged. Um, version control is a means wherein we will maintain and keep all of the different versions of a document and so every time you make a change that change is recorded and kept you can go back to earlier versions and take a look at pre-changes and other items but we will keep all of those versions automatically as you bring in documents and make changes audit logs allows you to monitor every click that is done inside of eFile cabinets so you can monitor and actually run reports by users, by date for specific items, clients, folders, and whatnot. So, and then the, um, the last final thing to touch base a little bit on is the secure drawer, which gives a secure portal sharing for clients. The secure drawer gives you a way to be able to move documents to a client. In this case, Tony's secure drawer is set up to his email and I can simply drag a document over to his secure drawer and upload it. It will copy the files to secure drawer and it'll allow me to add additional comments, passwords, or expiration dates. Once I send that file, it copies, it copies that document up. Now I have the capability of going in to secure drawer which can be a general website like this or can actually be embedded into your own website and can log in and view those documents that got shared. So Tony in this case can only see one drawer. You can actually give clients access to multiple drawers. So he can look in, see this document that we've just uploaded and he now has the ability to share documents back or to save these documents onto his computer. And that gives you just a very quick overview of eFall Cabinet. And if you have any questions, um, please call or email. Uh, my phone number is 801-921-7357. Thanks. Have a great day.